boy Fresh Cuts. Right now I'm going to do the three coat comparison. You already know. Got the Canada Goose from Neiman Marcus. Got the Moose Knuckles from Saks Fifth. Got the Montclair from Neiman Marcus. Now I already did a video. If you guys haven't checked it out, it'll be down on the description below or probably on the link of this video or whatever. But I already did a review on all three of these coats right now. And it's it's about 53 degrees right now. I know in the comments y'all gonna be talking about why you put these expensive coats on this dirty fence, but it's just for the video, you guys. So it's the Montclair Ecrans. About this feature, y'all already know. The phone scanning. Put the camera directly on top. And the NFC code should pop in any moment now. There you go. So that's how you can tell if your Montclair is real. Size 2. I'm going to zip it up. I ain't going to lie. It's kind of hard to, uh, to zip her up a little bit. You got to make sure you get it all the way in. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Zipped all the way up. Right off the bat, the materials inside the Montclair is doing its job. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Even though this is the most expensive coat in this collection, I still feel like it has room for it to be more warmer. You know what I'm saying? Even though it is warm, it is warm, but I feel like without a hat on, you can be cold in this motherfucker. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to unzip it. Very comfortable though, I'll tell you that much. This is not a winter winter's coat. If you notice, a lot of people uh, have hoodies under this coat. There was a saying that Montclair don't keep you warm enough. And remember, this is the Ecrans. The Ecrans cause more than the Maya. So a lot of people tend to go to the Maya. But I don't want to run my mouth. On a scale of one to 10 with the warmness, I might have to say it's an eight and a half, 8.5, you guys. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, like this coat is very warm, but it's not meant to be under 20 degrees, if, if I'm gonna be all the way honest with you guys. You know, even though this is the most expensive coat, like I said, I'm gonna keep it honest with you guys. You know, I'm not gonna be biased. It's, in terms of styling, I give this a nine out of 10. Very, very cool coat, man, you know what I'm saying? Show off the bracelets and all that. You're very comfortable, man. Like, you leave out the house in a white tee. And this, you're very comfortable. So, comfortability, I'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10. Size 2, Ecrans. Let's go to the next. All right, you guys, this is the second coat the Canada Goose Camouflage Carson Parker. This is a size large. I, I could have got a medium. I could have got a medium. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. The large is pretty large. But at the same time, I'm not mad at it. This was $9.95. That's the Neiman Marcus tag. I got the receipts over here. So everything's official. This is pretty warm, you guys. I'm not going to lie. It's been a while since I, I wore the Canada Goose coat. I'm not going to lie. The, 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 it feels good. It feels good. And like I said about the moose knuckle, the goal is to be heavy duty but you know you can still move around in it you know and you don't feel stiff like you're wearing a car uh, a carhartt or a dicky or north face you know the goal is to be nice smooth relax lightweight but still do its job in the winter time so i'm gonna put the fur on i apologize if these coats be looking a little weird because I have them hanging up in my closet and I'm running out of room. You have your hood adjustment. All right. Not a big fan of the hood. The hood is like very wide. Um, I'm gonna unzip this. So on the Carson, you got buttons. I pretty much button mine all the time just to give it that clean look. 
so it's not over flapping. It could just stay in place. With your coat open, it looks kind of weird to me. I don't know why, man. But I am pretty warm in this. I am warmer in the in this coat than the Montclair. And this was only $9.95. This is actually the cheapest coat on this collection. So right off the bat, you know, shout out to Canada Goose for that. Um, I wish I would have got a medium because I feel like this hood is like so wide. I feel like it's over flapping. I feel like you have to adjust your hood to make sure it's not leaning to the side. You know, and that gets kind of annoying. This is definitely a nine. This is more warmer than the Montclair coat. Plenty of room, plenty of space. Um, it would be nice to see Canada Goose have the NFC coat later on down the line. I think they will start doing that because Moose Knuckles started doing that. Montclair started doing that. Hey, Canada Goose, like, what's up? The styling of it, I still feel like Montclair is more stylish. So I think the style wise, I gave it a nine, right? I'm gonna give this an eight. I'm gonna give this an eight in style. I feel as though if you get your right size, again, I am six foot, I'm 160 pounds. So a medium will do right for you. Um, but I do suggest you going into the store. Maybe you would like a small better. Maybe you're more of a bomber type of guy. Um, I just like the full parkas, you know, the full look. I want the actual thing. I have to say eight, because even though it is nice, it's something about the comfortness when you wear it. It's, it's comfortable, but it's still, I guess, because I have a large, maybe if I had a medium, I would change my mind, but I'm gonna go with an eight. You know, it's, it's comfortable, but it's not the most comfortable uh, coat in my collection, you know. Montclair takes that. Um, yeah, in the next coat, the Moose Knuckles. I got the Sterling coat. All right. Make sure we're not dealing with no fakes. All right. This was a thousand ninety-five dollars, and this is a size medium. Size medium, you guys. Again, I'm six foot, one hundred sixty pounds. I know y'all like why you keep saying that, because somebody in the comments gonna ask me again and again and again. This is very hard to zipper, you guys, because you have to get the zipper like all the way. All right, you guys, off the back, the materials on this bad boy is amazing, man. The warm pockets that it has, you know, just the material. It feel like when you're wearing this, it's like a suit, you know? You feel tailored. It's, it seems like it's custom made for your body for some strange reason. You know, you got your double layers right there for your cuff on the wrist. All right. And this is the side you guys always want to see, right? Maybe having the gold ones, the aluminum gray. I like the charcoal black. It's not, you know, it's a little low key. Navy blue colorway. This is a size medium. Like I said, you have your two pockets, you know, both have the uh, hand warmers up top down below i think i'm gonna use the down below pockets you know um these buckles up here they don't do anything they're just the design for the sterling and i'm gonna show you the back blue fox fur that's what you're really paying for right off the back man the materials on this bad boy is amazing just off materials alone i'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10 Materials on the Montclair, I'll give it an 8. The materials on the Canada Goose, I'm going to give it a good, uh, I'm going to give it a 9 on the materials. But on this bad boy, I'm going to give it a 10, man. Like the, the blue fox fur, the zipper qualities, just the way it makes you, you feel when you put this bad boy on. It feels like it's tailor-made for you. It feels like it's custom for you as far as comfortness I'm a little bit more comfortable in the Montclair than the Moose Knuckles but not that far away I'm gonna say this is a solid nine this is a solid nine it's warmness 10 out of 10 right off the back this is the warmest coat out of the whole collection 
just the style of it now this coat is kind of tricky you guys because with the canada goose you could probably get away with a pair of yeezys air force ones etc with the montclair you know you might have to do like i don't know no, i wouldn't necessarily throw on yeezys with these but this is kind of easy to throw on and you know make yourself lit i guess you could get away with an air force ones with these but i feel like you can't wear air force ones with this and that kind of turns us down because it's so exclusive and it's so stylish and it's so expensive i mean all these coats is expensive but moose knuckles has a different type of aura to it you know i don't think you can get away with wearing yeezys with this moose knuckle i'm gonna be honest with you guys i might wear gucci shoes with these maybe louis shoes um red bottom so this this coat all together has a different meaning of this will really test you if to see if you can really dress or not if you know how to dress as far as styling i might have to say a nine out of ten straight off the bat because this this coat you really gonna have to think about what you're putting on see with the mind clear you can put on air force ones with the canada goose you could put air force ones on you could probably do a pair of jordans oh yeah you could do a pair of jordans with these but i feel like with moose knuckles it's different i don't i don't think you can get away with wearing jordans with these i'm gonna be honest with you timberland vibes black tims black tims with these would do good um something casual it doesn't fall into your actual streetwear out of all three of these moose knuckles is definitely the best i don't think it's even no comparison um when it comes to warmness comfortness it just meets every criteria you could think of you know the materials is crazy um i don't feel like i'm going to sweat to death in this coat at the same time but it is pretty warm and at any moment you can just i got the uh buttons on remember this is a size medium i put the buttons on and everything but i feel like this coat like i said with the canada goose you can't really uh and the zipper quality is amazing too you know especially with the interior of this coat look at that pocket crazy and yeah i feel like this coat you can definitely uh have the the coat open you don't have to have it zipped all the time and the, the fur is amazing man it's not like canada goose where it was dragging from side to side no it stays in the middle it doesn't go all the way out like canada goose does but you know it is what it is man i love this coat out of all three of them this is the best one if i had to get another coat from any of them i would say canada goose because i like the black one the black original canada goose it looks so clean to me it's so simple but i feel like for everyday use it would be great this is not really an everyday type of coat the montclair sadly enough is not an everyday coat but a canada goose is actually an everyday coat let me know what you guys think comment down below what's your favorite coat what you think should be on my next list right now you know i know mac is just making a lot of noise i don't know if that's how you say it what should be on my next list uh did you get any, any of these coats? If so, how, how did you feel about them? Do you feel like it was worth the money? Do you feel like it wasn't? Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. It's your boy Fresh Cuts. Signing out. Love.